I also want to highlight, you know, my, my opening rant was basically about the right-wing billionaire class and how they've captured Kirsten Cinema and, and uh, apparently Joe Manchin as well. It's, you know, the fossil fuel interest mostly. And, and perhaps a few of the other Democrats, and that's blocking progress. Now, that, that's kind of the bad news. The good news is that if we can't make things happen in the next year and a half, the next 18 months, there's going to be an election next November, a year from this November, in roughly 18 months from now, or even less than that, maybe 15 months from now. And in that election, you've got, you know, a whole bunch of Republicans up for re-election or to fill seats for retiring. You know, Pat Toomey in Pennsylvania is retiring, and you've got Fetterman, a really strong Democrat. He's, I believe he's the attorney general uh, right now, maybe the secretary of state, one or the other, in Pennsylvania. He's running for that seat. Um, you've got Rob Portman in Ohio, who's retiring. Um, there's some strong candidates. Tim Ryan's probably the strongest candidate running for that seat. So, you know, maybe we can pick up a couple of seats in the 2022 election in the Senate, and we won't have to worry about what Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin have to say. But right now, we've got to deal with that. So, so that was my, my opening rant. But, I, you know, there's a, there's a second step to this, and that is the right-wing crazies who are following Donald Trump and who don't believe in democracy. And this, I think, is, is another existential threat to America, and that's the authoritarian threat. The, the not just Trump followers, but the Republican followers and these right-wing Republican sites. They are just all over trying to, trying to support the states that are putting into place literally anti-democratic, both big D and small D. Anti, they're anti-democracy laws to make it harder to vote and to, and to give election officials the power to say, well, you know, Fulton County, Georgia, uh, it's a lot of black people there. I'm not sure that I trust the vote coming out of there. We think there's fraud. We're just not going to count some of those votes. Keep in mind, when Trump started yelling about election fraud, and this does not get mentioned anywhere near enough in the media. Trump's whole rant about election fraud was not that there was, hey, election fraud all across the country. It was that there was election fraud in black parts of the country. The county in, in Arizona with the largest black population, Maricopa County, is the only county that, the, that they're running a so-called audit on in Arizona right now. Trump said, you know, it's, it, it all happened in, in Pittsburgh and in Philadelphia, right? Large black populations in Pennsylvania. It all happened in Detroit, in Michigan, large black population. It all happened in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, large black population. Every single, literally every single city where Trump was claiming there was election fraud was a, a majority black city. Atlanta, of course, uh, Fulton County. Every single one. And now you've got one third of the states in the United States have passed legislation to make it possible to essentially ignore, overturn, not count, purge, so those people so people can't vote to begin with, the people from those very places all across the United States. Thomas Mann who is a senior fellow at Washington's Brookings Institution and a resident scholar at UC Berkeley, uh, came, came forward and he says, America is on the precipice. We are in danger of losing our democracy, thanks to Trump and these extremists that he has empowered. He said, we've always had extremist groups on the left as well as the right, but they've always been marginalized or co-opted to become more moderate. This is the first time in the history of America, a set of forces like this has actually won the White House and tried to steal it a second time, which is exactly what Trump tried to do. And now he says if Trump had won that second term, we would have passed Hungary pretty quickly in becoming an autocratic world but a dangerous world, end quote. He adds, the GOP has become an insurgent outlier in American politics, ideologically extreme, scornful of compromise, unmoved by facts, evidence, and science, dismissive of the legitimacy of the political opposition. This is a dangerous moment.